to take the ego here and in my previous video which I think was the Sephora uh, face mask review video I told you guys that I was going to explain to you why I have been gone for so long um, so yeah let me go ahead and explain what's been going on about two months ago I had the opportunity to participate in the Essence Music Festival uh, this year um, duh this year <laughs> So yeah, I had the opportunity to participate in Essence Music Festival and at the same time I was on the verge of launching um, my brand which is Salvador Avery. Um, I will post the link so you guys can check it out. But it is a, it has some women's items on there but it's mostly geared towards uh, dapper men gentlemen you know things like that so I have like bow ties neck ties um, bracelets I do have those for men and women I also have head wraps like silk and silk print head wraps for women as well um, I have beard oil bath bombs all, all those sorts of things for men a lot of people you know a lot of time women do mostly women's clothing but women have a lot of options already so yeah so I decided to do one for men and uh, originally when I launched a brand years ago it was for men and then I kind of deviated from that plan and I ended up making women's clothes and, and men's clothes and it was just way too frustrating it was too tedious and I was custom making everything and this is like a one woman show so I was like picking out the fabric I was sewing it together you know uh, doing fittings for people all kinds of things I did a fashion show blah 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 whatever it was way too much so I decided to kill that and I took a year off and just planned uh, a brand and focused on the vision that I intentionally had that in the first place <clears throat> which was a brand for men which is what I've done so finally I was able to launch it um, during essence this year and for those too much you know I started to go fund me um, people donated you know people really helped me out and I was able to get a table at the first pop-up shop in New Orleans and it was so awesome okay it was so awesome um, I made really good sales people were really feeling my you know um, my brand and what it stood for and things like that by all means please visit the website if you're interested in more products you know more items um, it's salvadoravery.com it is on my um, my channel page like my profile page and I will list it below the video as well now uh, as far as details about the event and leading up to the event it was really wild and crazy when I tell you I was like pushing 20 hour days back to back I was working a full-time job from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. and then I would go straight home at 7 o'clock in the morning maybe get home no later than 7 45 8 and I was hitting the sewing machine you know making all of these things to prepare for essence um, and then of course since then I've added more products as well but uh, regarding essence yeah it was crazy um I wasn't getting any sleep at all um I, I was just trying to, to to push forward and make sure that I had a variety of items um, for people to look through to, to, to purchase you know and so I didn't know what the what the audience was going to be like you know as far as the people that were going to come to the pop-up shop and things like that I don't know if there were going to be a lot of men there I had absolutely no clue so I decided I was like let me put women's items in there as well but be predominantly for men and sure thing you know a lot of women was, were there but I was shocked to see that a lot of men were there as well let's see what else so I finally got the opportunity to meet Christian Keys if you know me you know how crazy I am about Christian Keys um, so I finally had the opportunity to meet Christian Keys and I, I guess my first impression of him was um, I mean he's a really nice guy you know um, he's not as tall in person as I thought he was <laughs> that everyone makes him out to be um, and
I got his autograph. Woo -woo. Uh, what I did was, um, and I don't even have a picture. I just have a picture of like the, the top of the box. I don't even have a picture of what's inside the box, which really sucks. But I made this gentleman's box for him. And it had two bottles of Hennessy, like little mini bottles of uh, Hennessy in it. It had two silk bow ties, uh, one silk necktie, um, two bracelets, and everything that I make, everything that I have is handmade by me. Every head wrap, every bow tie, every bracelet is handmade by me. I do not buy anything wholesale and then upsell it, you know, uh, on the website or anything like that to make a profit. Everything is made by me. So... Yeah, I had that in there, and then I also included a uh, a box of um, pralines from Southern Candy Makers here in New Orleans. And if you have come here to New Orleans, you know people be trying to turn up on the pralines, and they get them as gifts and, and things like that, and a little uh, favors and stuff like that. So, and that stuff was kind of pricey, you know, for like a half a pound. Or a pound, you're looking at twenty or thirty dollars for like this little box of proline. So, anyway, so I, I gave him, I gave him the box. I didn't even get a video. I didn't get a picture of him opening the box. And people were like, "Why you didn't have your phone ready?" And I'm just like, "You don't understand. I had to, I had to leave my event. I had to leave the pop up shop for like an hour." Go bring him the gentleman's box that I made and then haul ass back to the event so that I can be present, like my face can be present at the table. You know what I'm saying? So I really couldn't stay and like do anything. And then um, I, I walked out and I was waiting for someone to come pick me up. And they were like, so did you get his autograph? And I was like, no, I didn't get his autograph. And it cost me like 33 bucks to get into the event. It was his book signing. And it was it sucked because I was like, man, I'm not going to be able to do it because my event is at the same time as his book signing. And it was like, no, I'm bringing you over there. You're going. Like, go back in there and you're going to get this autograph. So I went back in there and the prop, the thing was my iPad that all of my books are on was being used as a register so I couldn't bring the iPad with me for him to sign so I had to like ask him if he would sign my book like a little notebook that I usually keep in my purse with me you know to kind of document stuff or whatever and he gladly signed it I took pictures of him and with him so I was like super stoked about that you know so I finally got the chance to meet Christian Keys. Um, I met a few of the guys from New Edition, which that was awesome. Um, someone tried to get Neo to come in there, but Neo was like, "No, I gotta meet. Uh, I gotta meet someone." Blah blah blah. Um, Faith Evans. Like we had a couple of people um, that we were trying to get to come in there, but I invited Christian Keys to come to the pop up shop, and the brother didn't come. But it's all right though. It's all right. I'm not going to trip about it. You know, I, I put his name on the VIP list because he was on my VIP list, you know, and yeah, so enough about him. Yeah, the, the event, I think, turned out really nice. I worked so hard to get everything put together and I was so afraid that... I wasn't going to be able to interact with people like I wanted to like there wasn't going to be enough people there no one was going to be interested in the things that were on my table you know um it was just so chaotic you know what I'm saying and I thought that I had prepared myself beforehand you know to get everything done I was staying up you know early mornings late nights trying to get everything finished um, and I did get everything finished um, and everything did turn out to me pretty well so I'm going to shut up now because I've been talking um, for a minute and I guess I will show you guys some footage of Essence um, and then I will show you some still shots by the way please subscribe to my channel because I am going to be 
filming more videos that I, this is the reason because of essence I wasn't able to film or edit anything you know every time I would sit down to try to film it just was like uh -uh, it's not gonna happen you know because I had to get all of these things together for uh, for essence